Hello, welcome back. In this class, I will talk about how to shoot in an orbit. The orbit shot is a bit advanced. It's more like combined technique with all those three movements we talked about in the previous classes. So I highly recommend you to be proficient in follow, lead, and parallel first before we start practicing the orbit move. The orbit move is you filming around your subject in a circle or an arc. Usually, you want to put your subject in the center. Sometimes, I will let themselves rotate in the opposite direction. Like if I go clockwise, they will rotate counterclockwise. They will increase the dynamic in your shot, like in this clip. To shoot the orbit, the most important thing is your distance from your subject. You need to be adept and controlling it to assist in framing your composition. You can start the practice by maintaining the same distance. Then you can try shifting the distance to change the frame size. In this clip, we increase the distance, changing the frame size from medium close-up to a wide shot to reveal the different surroundings that puzzle the subject. You also want to set the gimbal in the pan mode so you can control the camera's facing when you walk in circle. Try not to walk sideways. It will result in the panning inconsistently because walking sideways doesn't provide a constant speed. I found it's better to walk forward and pan the camera to the subject. Like the one we did in the parallel move, it will provide a constant momentum, give you a smooth result. The orbital move is a powerful camera movement. It is frequently used in the cinema either to reveal the information or to enhance the subject. It brings a good dynamic in your shots to generate a special emotional effect. Thank you.